Well, see, that's what we've done right, all our life. Right? The, the company's been around for 20 years, and even before 20 years, right, there is a, a history to it. Right? What, what we've always really gone after is a, a very, very vertical-based approach. Right? We've really, we're not a vendor who really goes and uh, does uh, and, and solves business problems for everyone. Right? We, we picked our battles. We picked the industries that we really want to go after, right? and specifically, they are industrial manufacturing. Uh, we, they, they are automotive companies, they are aerospace and defense companies, and then there are, of course, food and beverage, chemical, fashion. Uh, these are all companies that we really go after, and we are very dedicated to these. Right? And then because you're dedicated, you are not just looking at these companies as uh, a, a, a transaction, you know. You're, you're not just solving one problem for them. You're problem, solving the problem for the industry. Right? So right from ERP, to maybe a, a CPQ, right, which is coating. How do you coat to a customer? Right? How do you place order? Right? How do you produce your uh, goods? Right? What is the process of doing that? Right? So, so there is MES that, that comes along uh, with our product. And then on top of it, you also have a CRM, right, which, which, which is part of our uh, product itself. There is an integration platform. There is AI. There is machine learning systems. Right? There is document management system. These are all built in. Right. And then core uh, to solution, the idea is once you talk to us, right, we give you an end-to-end -end solution for your industry. Right. You don't really have to talk to anyone else. And even if there is a need to, we also give you an OS platform which helps you in integrating with these third-party applications. Right. If at all you want to go with a, a, a third-party CRM solution or with uh, something else right, that is very, very critical for your business, you can still choose to do that because we give you that platform. Right. So, so that's one way of really being very, very focused to our industry and really supporting the market that way. Right? And similarly, on the, on the food and beverage side, you will not find too many people who really focus on these industries. Right? You, in, in the market, what you see is one vendor which has one code base, and he's trying to solve problems for everyone. Right? Whereas we've chosen a, a separate battle, which is, hey, we are going to be focusing on food and beverage, maybe meat, poultry, milk, right? So each of it has, has a different nuance to it. Right? You cannot have a same ERP working for an automotive company and a milk manufacturer, right? So think, think about it, how different they are. But that's what the market is doing today. So hence, we, we picked the battle, and these products come with those nuances. Right? So I think digital transformation will only happen once you're very specific, right? because every company's needs are different. Right. So, 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 so that's our thought process, really. And see, customer experience is core to what we do. Right? If, if we cannot really make the experience of a customer, someone who's been with us for 15, 20 years, right, better, right, then there is that, that, that's the end of life for any company. Right? So what we're really going after is, one, moving these existing customers to a SaaS model. Right? And with that, of course, right, like you already understand, there are so many value adds that come with, come with that. Right? One is continuous innovation. Right. So customer always is on the current and the greatest version of Infor. Right. That itself is a, is a big shift. Earlier customers would wait for four years. Right. So SaaS itself is, I think, my, my number one focus. And now it is, how do you make SaaS better? Right. So we have a, a program called uh, T2E, right, which is time to value. I don't know if you, if, if you understand, in, in earlier days, right, doing an ERP project was a, a, a four-year, five-year affair. Now, how do we reduce that to a nine month or one year? Right? So that's what we are focusing on. By really giving you a, a, a pre-built template for an for a industry. So, so again, if, I, if I'm talking about a food industry, right? so the way you measure food is different to, right? because there is volumes that comes here, right? to, 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 to what you would do with the, a, a component manufacturing. Right? So if you have to do this, these templates are already there, ready-made. Right? What you do is just upload data, Right, change a slight business uh, processes just in case. But otherwise, these are all standard ones, right? If it doesn't matter if it's an Indian company, European company, American company, or whichever part of the world it is. The, the food, the way it is manufactured, the way it is organized, it, it, it doesn't change, right? So we go with the template, give it to these customers, and we make sure they are live in those nine months, right? What we also do is, for their CXOs, right? If an inter-snack, right, which is a customer of ours globally, right, one of the largest in, in, in snacking business, 
to a Camco right here in India, right, which which also is is one of the largest chocolate manufacturing companies here, right, or Amalgam Foods, another uh, frozen food manufacturing company. Right? So look at all these companies. The the parameters that a CEO looks at doesn't change. Right, he looks at these ten things in a day, right. So we give him a, a dashboard, right, which is made for him, custom made for him, and then. It is there for the company or the or, or the executives to use on from day one. All you need to do is just populate it. Similarly for a CFO, similarly for a CIO, similarly for a, a, a purchase head, a procurement head. Everyone has got their own dashboards, right? So those are the the, the customer experience uh, stuff that is happening really. So I'm, I'm sure everyone has already spoken about AI, ML, right? So I'm I'm going to get a little more uh, deeper into that. Right? So instead of Simply uh, offering a solution and then calling it an AI and ML, right? What we are trying to do is solving business problems with that, right? So once you get into an application, if you have to really generate a, uh, say a, a a PO or an invoice, right? What we really want our applications to do is really when you when you talk to the applications, maybe in the in the near future, it should go and print that PO for you, right? Because of course, right? If if you look at at least ten years, fifteen years ago, when when I started selling ERP, just doing one invoice would take nine minutes, ten minutes. Right? Now imagine that is nine step, fifteen step process, right? Because of course, naturally there are multiple SKUs. Now you just talk to the application and say, you know what, print the invoice for this particular customer, right? And it it, it takes note of that. It goes, right? It does all those steps on its own, and then these things are pre-built in the solution now. And you don't need a third-party RPA solution. Right? These things are built in. Right? So, so I think the, the, these are the kind of innovations that we're talking about. Right? And number one, of course, right? Anyone will tell you it is artificial intelligence and right machine learning. Right? Second one is, of course, right? How you deliver these. Right? So, so that's a that's another innovation. And then sustainability is it's so big, especially in food and beverage. Right? So, I want to talk about uh, food and beverage specifically because that's our strength. Right? Process industry strength. How you source your food? Where does it come from? How do you really find the alternative sources? Right? Because it's, it's such a complex world now. Right? Suddenly there is no wheat. What happened in Ukraine? Right? Hey, how do you now find an alternative? Right? Because the company has to still run. Right? We we still have to do those snacks. Right? So finding and then giving those alternatives right in your supply chain itself. Right? That's that's another big area that we are focusing on. Supply chain, in for us number one in the world. Right in, in in that space, right, and we want to really consolidate that space, right from being a, a a single place where you can track your entire good, right, which is moving from a container, which is maybe leaving from a Rotterdam, right, and and going to a China or then coming to India or the U.S. Everything is tracked using this particular product. We it's a, we call it the Infor Nexus, right, to making sure it kind of reaches you at home. So tracking to that level, right? Again, on top of it, we have other supply chain solutions, which we call the WMS, right? Warehouse management solutions, right? And then, of course, the last mile. And these are the the big two innovations, I would say, right? AIML and supply chain, right? So, so these are the ones that you'll in generally, right, here in the market. Uh, and and I think we we strongly are committed into uh, these areas.